In this video, I get barked at by a dog while testing a Hyundai Stella. So, here we are, the mighty Hyundai Stella, the Korean Cortina, because effectively it was an evolution of the Mark 4 5 Cortina. Styling is quite Italian. Uh, I'm not sure if Juijaro had a hand in it, but it certainly looks like he might have. But let's go for a drive because this Hyundai packs one mighty secret. Let's jump aboard. Look at those fantastic dials. Very, very Hyundai switch gear. Hmm, that gear lever looks a little interesting perhaps. Press. Look at the velour. Wondrous velour everywhere. But this Hyundai Stella, owned by the same owner as his first car, um, has a bit of a surprising secret. It hasn't exactly got the standard four-cylinder engine anymore. Let's go for a drive. If I can put it in gear. Beat the sound of a Rover V8? I'm not sure you can. It's a really short shift. Windows up. I can honestly say this is the first time I've ever driven a Hyundai Stella. It's certainly the first time I've driven a Hyundai Stella with a Rover V8 in it. The engine is from an SD1. And um, yeah, it doesn't have that much get up and go. It's not a tuned V8. It's probably producing around the region of 140, 150 brake horse. But, um, and that window doesn't shut properly, but I'm too hot anyway, I'm going to have to open the windows a bit. Yeah, it's um, not what you expect. I like it very much. Notty gear lever. I think it's got a quick shift on it. Takes some getting used to. Hmm, it smells quite a lot of petrol. The steering's a little vague and not entirely precise. Um, but the ride's certainly okay, it's not bad. Because this car was built, really, for a dare. Um, it was my friend Matt's first car. And uh, a friend of his, well I think he had the silly idea to put a V8 in. And a friend of his said, you can't do that. So he did just to prove it. So it wasn't built as a V8 for performance reasons. I think it was built as a V8 purely because it sounds awesome. And he's deliberately kept it as a sleeper as well. On the back, it still says 1.6 SGL. But it has been registered as a V8, it is legit. 
it just keeps it completely sleeper and I think that's fantastic I mean what's not to love really it took quite a lot of doing but you did manage to cram the engine in just about it was a tight fit the uh, manifolds are quite close to the sides of the engine bay but maybe it was meant to be maybe Hyundai missed the trick and should have built their own V8 following a Hyundai Matrix into the event which is quite amusing. Hyundai friends! Uh, and that's it. I must now park up and um, hand back the keys. And that fills me with sadness. <laughs> 